Okay, now for part B of the same question. Now, unfortunately, I think I had written here October 2016 instead of January 2016. So on the first video, on the main label, it's fine. It was just in the top corner of the page. It said October instead of January. That was for part A. I'm now going to do part B of the same question. So uh, I'll just take this label and go down and do part B. Okay. Now, part B tells us that ship PP is moving with constant velocity 2i plus uh, 5j kilometers per hour, and ship Q is moving with constant velocity minus 3i and minus 15j kilometers per hour. Uh, find the position vector of P at time t after 2 pm. Okay, so you've got to find a general equation basically for P and for Q. Okay, I think the part C is for Q. Let me just take that now as well. Part C is for Q. Okay, but I'll do that. Um, I'll do that later. Okay, so um, we've got to find the position vector of p at time t hours after 2 p.m. So basically, we need to find the general equation. Right, the general equation for the position vector is the position vector of a point is equal to the position vector at the original time when time was zero. Okay, that's called the you know the the zero position vector, the um, the initial position when time was zero, plus the velocity times time. Okay, so basically what's happening here is, for example, at time equals zero, which was at 2 p.m., p was at this point here. And it's moving in this direction, okay, um, with this magnitude, 2i plus 5j. So from here it's moving 2i plus 5j. So it's kind of moving in this direction. It's moving in that direction. Okay, supposing that's 2i plus 5j. I know it's not, it's not exactly what. 2i plus 5j. That means after one hour, when t equals 1, it's going to be there. And then, when t equals 2, it's going to be there. Because it's going in that direction. But, and it's moving that much every every hour. And so on. So you want to have a general equation which will help you find out its position at any time, like when t equals 5, when t equals 10, and so on. All right? So let's work out how to do that now. Okay? Basically, it's, as, as I said, it's the position vector of the, the ship P at zero time plus the velocity times the time. So one one time, time is one times one velocity, time is two times one velocity, and so on. It will tell you where it is in relation to the origin. Okay, R would be the position vector the, in relation to the origin for any time you want. You have to plug the time into that equation. So what we need is, we need R0, we need V, okay, and T we're going to write as T. So R0 is this initial position which was told us to us in the question. They told us the initial position vector is 5i minus 3j. I'll write that as a as a column vector. You've got 5 and minus 3. And its velocity is minus 3i minus 15. Uh, sorry. Uh, for p is 3 minus, uh, sorry, for 3 it's 2 and 5. 2i plus 5j. So we can say that the position vector of p is equal to its initial position with 5 minus 3 plus t times its velocity, which is 2, 5. That will tell you position at any time. If you want to make sure that you want to write in the same format as given in the question, you can say 5i minus 3j plus t times 2i plus 5j. Okay, but both of these are acceptable. Okay? Both of these, are, I, personally pref I personally prefer to use this, especially my calculations. And for Q, you do exactly the same principle. Okay, for part C, Q, we, wanna, we know that for R0, for Q, its initial position was um, 7i plus 5j, so 7 and 5. And we know the velocity vector for Q is minus 3 minus 15. So the position vector for Q is going to be given by 7, 5 plus the time, t, times minus 3 and minus 15. Which, as I said, you can write it in 
the form format given i and j format 7i plus 5j plus t times minus 3i minus 15j and there we have our answer either this or that that's fine okay i'm going to go on to the next part in the next video for the reasons i described earlier yeah.